Okay, a couple of definitions here. Cabinet and cutout box. It's really not worth talking about one without talking about the other. They're both regulated in Article 312, which covers uh, cabinets, cutout boxes, and meter socket enclosures. So a cabinet is what a lot of people refer to as a panel board. Take a look at the picture before we get too far. The panel board can be taken out of the cabinet. The panel board is just the guts. It's the bus bars, right? So I could remove the panel board and still have a cabinet. So when we look at the large piece of metal that we hang in the wall, that's not a panel board. The panel board goes inside of that enclosure. The enclosure is what we would call a cabinet. And again, it's regulated by Article 312, not Article 408. So a cabinet is a surface or flush mounted enclosure with a frame, mat, or trim in which one or more swinging doors can be hung. Okay, so certainly the most common, uh, the most common type of a cabinet is the type that we install a panel board in. There's nothing that says you have to install panel boards in cabinets or that you have to have a cat, you know, the, the only thing you can put in a cabinet is a panel board. Uh, industrial control panels are usually assembled inside of a cabinet, right? We have the swinging door and we have the cabinet. So that would be a cabinet. We also have a cutout box and a cutout box. Why do we call it a cutout box? Well, where do you go when you need to cut out the power? You go to the cutout box. It's an enclosure with swinging doors or covers that are directly secured to its walls and is used for surface mounting. All right, so there you go. This would be a cutout box. Hit the switch, cut off the power. There you go. That would be a cutout box. So most disconnecting uh, means, disconnect switches, are installed in cutout boxes, and those are also regulated in Article 312.